Praise be to Jesus. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, cover President Trump with your most precious blood, we beg of you. Immaculate Virgin, cover President Trump with your mantle of protection, we beg of you. Saint Michael the Archangel, protect President Trump from those who are working to destroy him, we beg of you. Amen. Hi everyone, Charles Whitby here on a Sunday morning. The Associated Press has just posted an article implicating Pope Francis in a cover-up in Argentina. Um, this started back in 2015 and uh, was brought to their attention again in 2017 to the Vatican's attention. Um, so let me, I'll go ahead and read some of this to you. The Vatican received information in 2015 and 2017 that an Argentine bishop close to Pope Francis had taken naked selfies, exhibited obscene behavior, and had been accused of misconduct with seminarians, his former vicar general told the Associated Press, undermining Vatican claims that allegations of sexual abuse were only made a few months ago. Francis accepted Bishop Gustavus Zanchetti's resignation in August 2017 after priests in the remote northern Argentine diocese of Oran complained about his authoritarian rule and a former vicar, seminary rector, and another prelate provided reports to the Vatican alleging abuse of power, inappropriate behavior, and sexual harassment of adult seminarians, said the former vicar, the Reverend Juan Jose Manzano. The scandal over Zanchetta, 54, is the latest to implicate Francis as he and the Catholic hierarchy as a whole face an unprecedented crisis of confidence over the mishandling of cases of clergy sexual abuse of minors and misconduct with adults. Francis has summoned church leaders. Uh, it goes on there. The Pope's decision to allow Zanchetta to resign quietly and then promote him to the number two position in one of the Vatican's most sensitive offices has raised questions again about whether Francis turned a blind eye to misconduct of his allies and dismissed allegations against them as ideological, ideology, I have trouble with that word, attacks. Manzano, Iran's vicar general under Zanchetta, who is now a parish priest, said he was one of the diocesan, diocesan officials who raised the alarm about his boss in 2015 and sent the digital selfies to the Vatican. In an interview with Associated Press in the pews of his uh, parish uh, church in Oran, Manzano said he was one of the three current and former diocesan officials who made a second complaint to the Vatican Embassy in Buenos Aires in May or June of 2017, when the situation was much more serious, not just because there had been a question about sexual abuses, but because the diocese was increasingly heading into the abyss. In 2015, we just sent a digital support with selfie photographs of the previous bishop in obscene or out-of-place behavior that seemed inappropriate and dangerous, he told Associated Press in a follow-up email. It was, it was an alarm that we made to the Holy See via some friendly bishops. The nunciature didn't intervene directly, but the Holy Father summoned Zanchetta, and he justified himself, saying that his cell phone had been hacked. <laughs> and that there were people who were out to damage the image of the Pope. Well, um, the article is 
really very long. So, you know, if you're interested in more of the specifics, um, the link's in the description box. And everyone have a nice day. Um, I do want to say one thing here is that um, I believe um, from some, from more than one source of people that um, I follow that I believe God is talking to them. Um, wh uh, what's being called for right now is uh, prayer for uh, our country and especially our president in the next couple of weeks. So um, it, with each one of the posts that I put up, I'm going to put up, um, I, I've written a prayer and uh, I'm going to put up this um, uh, prayer so that, you know, it's 30 seconds long, you know, and if you uh, want to pray for our president, um, hopefully so, and hopefully, like, you'll copy it down or something. I, I posted it by itself last night, you know, if you wanted to bookmark it and maybe pray it several times a day or as uh, to whatever extent you want to pray it, but I'm also going to attach it to the post for the next couple of weeks. Um, okay, well, I'll leave the link to this article in the description box. Everybody enjoy their day or evening, um, because if you're sleeping, you're not reading this right now anyway, so it's always, you know, so it'll always be the day or the evening <laughs> that somebody, when they're awake. Uh, okay, well, take it easy there. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.